Hey guys, I know that it's been a couple weeks, which is not my favorite thing to do because I really like to keep the consistency, but it's also been a really hard two weeks where there's been just a lot of side effects. Um, I've slept through a lot. Um, and there's been, uh, and of course the thing with my tongue, my hands, it's really weird. I don't know if you can see that my hands are kind of bruised looking. And at one point I couldn't get my wedding ring on. Um, so uh, I see the doctor today so we can talk about all those, all those symptoms and side effects and then go from there. But uh, it is week one. And so I'm going back to, I'm going back. I just have the one chemical. So I thought I'd invite you to a little thing I call what's in my bag. All right. So first of all, this is my bag. It is huge. I know. I always make the joke that it looks like I'm moving in. Um, the tricky part, the thing is most of my treatments are like three and four hours and I really don't know what I'm going to want to do during that time. Uh, cause I have like chemo squirrel brain. So I just kind of pack a lot of things plus a lot of comfort things. So this is a bag I got from Zoe's bag boutique. It has lots of fun medieval, medieval princesses. She even put a little one up here. Let me raise that a little bit up here, which is, um, when I bought it, it was a laptop pocket which has changed the world. So we're gonna, we're gonna load my bag for chemo. All right, first things first. Um, it is cold in that room, but I usually pack um, a quilt for comfort. I think uh, there's a beautiful one that Lori made. This is one that my friend Jennifer made. I'm gonna see if I can get back. I don't know if you will. Ah, shoot. Let's try that again. It has um, fox faces in purple on teal, and then it's got this really cute interior of little purple foxes. And it's very, this thing is huge but it is very um, thin and so it packs up really small you know this is this is quality content so i can pack it in the pouch in my bag quality content of me putting a blanket in a bag. All right, so I've got the blanket in there. Now it does, like I said, it does tend to get cold. So I usually pack a couple other things. Um, I've got a hoodie. It's my, um, it's my fat unicorn hoodie that I got from Woot way back when. It's not too heavy, so, but it does what it needs to do. So I put that in. I usually grab some grippy socks. So in case I have to go to the bathroom, I don't have to like go find my shoes. So these are my grippy socks today. Oh yes. Yes, they are. And I usually grab in case this is not enough. I grab um, more of a knitted hat. This was knitted for me by summer. I love the colors. Oh my gosh. So we're going to pack that too. Now, all the other stuff to kind of keep me busy. First of all, I have a bag with all of my electronic stuff. So I've got, I've got a plug, I've got a really long cord, I've got earphones, I've got a little unicorn thingy to balance it if I want to watch something on the phone. And I keep all that in there. I like little pouches and it's also easier to say like to Jeff, get this pouch. And, and most of the time he can find it like, no, that bird, that brown one. 
Um, again, since I don't know what I'm going to want to do, I'm going to um, pack my laptop, which also functions as, as a tablet. So um, before we go, I'm going to download like a Marvel movie or something, something that we've seen that's not thinking too hard. So I'm going to put that in there. Um, likewise, the microphone that I use has a really nice split cord that I'm bringing so Jeff and I can both watch the same movie at the same time, if he remembers to bring his earphones. So that's going to go in there. I have some, um, some ARCs, which is a library, librarian talk for advanced reader copy. I've got some wonderful comic book ARCs um, that I've really been looking forward to reading. So um, if I have the brain for it and want to, I can read those. Um, I pack I pack some cross stitch in case I'm feeling like doing something small. It's a little Pusheen kit. I also have another that I can't show you because it's actually a gift for a friend. I pack some knitting. Like I said, I don't know what I'm going to be into. Um, I'm finishing the second half of a little footy yarn. Um, it's a little anklet. Uh, for the knitter nerds, it's a uh, hoat yarn, something Nova. I just think it, when I look at it, it just, because of the gray and everything else, kind of reminds me of Wesley Crusher's sweater. I like it. So, um, really, really knitting. So, I'm working on it. And that one packs up really small. I've got in case Jeff and I want to do it together. Um, I have this Star Trek crossword puzzle. Folks, this is no joke. Um, it does deep dives into, um, I want to say it ends at Voyager, but I can't be sure. And to be honest, a lot of times we have to go to Memory Alpha because we're both like, oh, I remember seeing that, but we don't remember but it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. I'm packing my planner. I accidentally left my planner at home yesterday and I sent Jeff a text that I was like twitch, 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 because it kind of goes everywhere with me. He said, well, you should have left a leg next time, which is not inaccurate. Um, I am going to be seeing the doctor today, so this is helpful to take notes and also to go back because I keep track of what all my what all my symptoms have been, so I can go back and do that. I'm crazy analog. And then the last thing, well, not the last thing, is I do have a, I do have a set of pens and pencils for writing and stuff. I also have um, a little set of scissors too. Um, I've got a pen, I've got a pencil, I've got an eraser. Ah! Quality content. An eraser. I have a little stylus thing because there's a, there's a game I like to play called a nonogram. Look it up. Um, and in here I have some chapstick. So that'll go in there. And the other thing I bring, I call it like my old lady purse. Usually with this thing, um, it's like the vitals and I will move it from purse to purse. I don't know why it feels like an old lady. It kind of does, but I kind of don't care. Um, let's clean it up and kind of see what's in there. Um, I've got business cards. You just never know when I'm going to be talking. I actually have had a couple times where I've had to give a card because we were talking. Um, <laughs> we were talking all kinds of business. Oh, I have a pen that has a, um, a stylus so I can still play the game that I like. I have, um, I have a little notebook um, for like poetry or whatever I'm feeling at the time. 
Let's go on this side. On this side, I have um, a measuring tape, which actually has come in, it's been helpful in many cases. Uh, what else do I have in here? I have um, some pills if I need them from the wonderful world of depression, which is a great podcast if you want to listen to it. And hey, a chapstick. So let's go into here and make sure I have my wallet. I'm going to put it in one of these um, side pockets so I can get to it easily. I have, I just got this from a wellness training that I did at work. I have, this makes me feel like I'm a good mom now. Um, <laughs> it's a little package that has like band-aids and stuff. So I, I feel like I'm a good mom now because I have that kind of thing. Um, they also gave me, where is it? This, which is hand, hand sanitizer. I like it because it's small. In fact, I'm going to put that on one of these outside pockets because it's easier to grab. Um, what else do I have in here? I have a book called 32 Ways to Dress a Fox. It just gives you little fox figures and you can like draw like dresses and stuff or pants or whatever you want to. I'm going to put that over here. What else do I have in here? See another pencil, which I probably can take out. Um, let's see. Oh, my, uh, some of my brain meds when I'm having a panic attack. Uh, folks, anxiety and depression is real. And there's nothing wrong with getting help. I am getting more help with this because this is a big deal, but I mean just living. So this is my panic attack meds in case I need them. What else? What else? I've got this little um, emery board. Unicorn? Yes, of course. Um, I subscribe to this box called Lip Service, which gives me a lot of chopsticks and stuff, which you can probably tell I have a lot of. Um, so I keep those. They send me like little gifts along with them, and that was one of the, one of the gifts. I have eye drops. I was having some trouble with my eyes. Oh my gosh, last week I had like these, it was like a streak of red across there. It was awful. It, it was one of those moments where I felt like, oh my gosh, now I look like I'm sick. But um, I guess it turned out it was beat chapped because I put on some Vaseline and it was fine. So, um, so I've been Vaselining my eyes before bed. It's just the more, the more you know, um, I have some hand, some hand lotion. My hands get super, super dry. What's difficult is I have, I have neuropathy in my fingers, so I don't always notice when my hands are dry. So I just kind of, it's more of like keeping it a habit to do it. Um, I also have some neuropathy in my feet that, uh, when it's, when it's flaring, it actually hurts to walk, but it's okay. We're going to get there. And I have I need the cloth to wipe my glasses and I have um, a little bag that has like a, a reusable bag in it so in case I go shopping or I want to carry stuff and it looks like my this is a bag I usually put all my lip stuff in so and it looks like I left it unzipped so I'm going to put in my, um, my Sephora Goji Berry, which adds a little bit of color if I want. Um, my Eos, which I don't know why it, it does a really good job when I need the medicine. Ooh, sugared strawberries. We put that in. And what is this? This is peach. Yes, I use a lot of chapstick and I always have. That's not new to this to this game. It's just that way. And it looks like I've got everything in here. So this is going to go in there. It's getting heavier. Then I put in my water bottle. I don't know if you can see it. Um, okay, so here's the thing. 
my daughter was using the word freaking every every other word which we know was a fill-in word for other words so we had to really break her of the habit and then this comes in that says I'm freaking magical and she's like mom so it was kind of a double standard and I kind of went just happened hon sorry so I'm gonna put that on the side what's nice is this has, has side pockets where you can actually put in um, it's kind of like a site that you can put in a water bottle and it's not going to tip and that's really nice I think that's it that goes in there um, we're probably going to toss in some snacks like some fruit or pretzels or something they do have some snacks there some sometimes so we just kind of see what's there but it's nice to have it this time we're in the afternoon so we might get like the afternoon munchies and man the technical difficulties here this is ridiculous especially since this is the end so i am going in for week one again this is the third round we'll see how it works um i know things get progressively heavier but we're just gonna see and we're gonna make it through and i've got my thread banger dead banger um if you haven't watched thread banger on youtube i'm gonna put the link below and it's they do really funny um do-it-yourself videos and recently to put it very put it just very it, it doesn't encompass what it is um rob had a health scare and so um and corinne his wife is dealing with being a caregiver so um it was that to support them i'm gonna toss them um I'm, rob i'm not gonna do the finger here because i keep it family friendly but on instagram i will probably do the finger so if you're following me on instagram just scroll past that's it i will try again to do it next week but no guarantees and we're in it so love you we'll talk to you later oh and all the stuff you know subscribe hit the hit the like share if you like if you think it's going to be helpful to someone else and we will see you next time